Thomas Hughes was an English lawyer, judge and author. He is most famous for his novel Tom Brown's School Days, a semi-autobiographical work set at rugby school, which Hughes had attended. It had a lesser-known sequel, Tom Brown at Oxford. Hughes had numerous other interests, in particular as a member of Parliament, in the British cooperative movement, and in a settlement in Tennessee reflecting his values. Early life, Hughes was the second son of John Hughes, editor of the Bosca Bell Tracts. Thomas Hughes was born in Newfington, Berkshire. He had six brothers, and one sister, Jane Senior who later became Britain's first female civil servant. At the age of eight he was sent to Twyford School, a preparatory public school near Winchester, where he remained until the age of eleven. In February 1834 he went to rugby school, which was then under the celebrated Thomas Arnold, a contemporary of his father at Arell College, Oxford. Hughes excelled at sports rather than in scholarship, and his school career culminated in a cricket match at Lord's Cricket Ground. In 1842 he went on to Arell College, and graduated BA. In 1845. At Oxford, he played cricket for the university team in the annual university match against Cambridge University, also at Lord's, and a match that is still now regarded as first-class cricket. Legal career, Hughes was called to the bar in 1848, became Queen's Counsel in 1869 and a bencher in 1870. He was appointed to a county court judgeship in the Chester District in July 1882. Social interests, a committed social reformer, Hughes became involved in the Christian socialism movement led by Frederick Morris, which he joined in 1848. In January 1854 he was one of the founders of the Working Men's College in Great Ormond Street, and was the college's principal from 1872 to 1883. Hughes gave evidence in 1850 to a House of Commons committee on savings. In so doing he participated in a Christian socialist initiative, which led shortly to the Industrial and Provident Societies Partnership Act 1852, and the emergence of the Industrial and Provident Society. The act was the work of Robert Eglion B. Slaney, with whom Hughes worked in alliance. Hughes was involved also in the formation of some early trade unions, and helped finance the printing of liberal publications, and acted as the first president of the Cooperative Congress in 1869, serving on the Cooperative Central Board. He invested with William Romain Calender in Cooperative Mills, in 1866. In politics, Hughes was elected to Parliament as a Liberal for Lambeth, and for Frome. He stood as candidate in 1874 for Marylebone in 1874, but dropped out just before the election, despite support from Octavia Hill. The context for the end of his political career was the unpopularity with Hughes's Rome constituents of his support for the Elementary Education Act 1870. As an MP Hughes worked on trade union legislation, but was not in a position to have major changes passed. He had greater success in improving the legal position of cooperatives, which in particular became able to operate as a limited company. The issue of legal obstacles to the operation of labor unions was topical, and in 1867 Hughes was made a member of a royal commission set up to consider the matter. Initially he was the only one on the committee sympathetic to the union point of view. After some lobbying he was joined by Frederick Harrison, and a concession was made to union representatives, allowing them observer places in the proceedings. Hughes then worked with Harrison and Robert Plegarth to diminish the effect of some of the testimony from employers. The outcome of this commission was that Harrison, Hughes and Lord Litchfield produced a minority report, recommending that all the legal restrictions should be dropped. Then the matter was raised again in a second commission, at the end of Hughes's time in Parliament. At that point Alexander MacDonald used a minority report to refer back to Hughes's earlier view. But Hughes signed the majority report. It advocated amendment of the Master and Servant Act 1867, but little substantive change to the Criminal Law Amendment Act 1871 and the Law of Conspiracy. Later life, in 1878 Euro 9 Hughes began writing the Manual for Cooperators, with Van Sittart Neal, for the Cooperative Congress. As a side product, he developed an interest in the model village. In 1880, 
he acquired the ownership of Franklin W. Smith's Plateau City and founded a settlement in America Euro Rugby, Tennessee Euro, which was designed as an experiment in utopian living for the younger sons of the English gentry. It followed closely on the failed colony Buckthorn, established by another Englishman Charles Lempriere, in western Virginia. This settlement had supposedly been suggested by Hughes. Rugby was also unsuccessful in its own terms, but still exists and is listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. Hughes was also a prominent figure in the anti-opium movement, and a member of the Society for the Suppression of the Opium Trade. At the end of the 1880s Hughes clashed with John Thomas Whitehead Mitchell of the Cooperative Wholesale Society, over the vertical integration Mitchell favored for the society. Hughes died in 1896 aged 73, at Brighton, of heart failure, and was buried there. Works, while living at Wimbledon, Hughes wrote his famous story Tom Brown's School Days, which was published in April 1857. He is associated with the novelists of the Muscular School, a loose classification but centered on the fiction of the Crimean War period. Although Hughes had never been a member of the sixth form at rugby, his impressions of the headmaster Thomas Arnold were reverent. Hughes also wrote The Scouring of the White Horse, Tom Brown at Oxford, Religio Lazy, Life of Alfred the Great and the Memoir of a Brother. His brother was George Hughes, whom the character of Tom Brown was based upon. Family In 1847, Hughes married Frances Ford, daughter of Reverend James Ford, and niece of Richard Ford, and they settled in 1853 at Wimbledon. Their house there was built by the North London Working Builders Association, a Christian socialist cooperative, and was shared with J.M.F. Ludlow and his family. Ludlow already shared barristers' chambers with Hughes, and the arrangement lasted four years. There were five sons and four daughters of the marriage. Lillian Hughes perished in the sinking of the RMS Titanic in 1912. The youngest child Mary Hughes was a well-known poor law guardian and volunteer visitor to the local poor law infirmary and children's home. Legacy A. Hughes Scholarship was founded at Arrell College, Oxford. It was a closed award, open only to members, or sons of members, of some cooperative organizations. The first scholar was elected to Arrell in 1884. It was later combined with an award honoring Vansittart Neal. A statue of Hughes stands outside Rugby School Library, the sculptor was Thomas Brock, and the statue was unveiled in 1899. It has been observed that although the sculptor has meticulously crafted a row of buttons on the right-hand side of the statue's jacket, there are no corresponding buttonholes on the left-hand side. Bibliography equals Fiction equals, Tom Brown's School Days, The Scouring of the White Horse, Tom Brown at Oxford equals non-fiction equals, religio laici a layman's faith, Alfred the Great. In the Sunday Library for Household Reading, this was a largely political work, and was history verging on fiction. Memoir of a Brother, The Old Church. What Shall We Do With It? The Manliness of Christ, True Manliness, Rugby Tennessee, Memoir of Daniel Macmillan, GTT Gone to Texas, Notes for Boys, Life and Times of Peter Cooper, James Fraser Second Bishop of Manchester, David Livingston, Vacation Rambles, Early Memories for the Children. References This entry incorporates some public domain text originally from the 1911 Encyclopaedia Britannica but has been heavily edited. The Aftermath with Autobiography of the Author Further Reading, Kidd, Bruce. Muscular Christianity and Value-Centered Sport, The Legacy of Tom Brown in Canada. International Journal of the History of Sport 23, 701 Euro 713 DOI, 101080 slash 0952336060673096. External links, works by Thomas Hughes at Project Gutenberg, works by or about Thomas Hughes at Internet Archive, works by Thomas Hughes at LibriVox, Hans at 1803 Euro 2005, Contributions in Parliament by Thomas Hughes. Historic Rugby, Tennessee, Thomas Hughes Correspondence Collection is held at the National Cooperative Archive, Manchester. Details of Hughes Family, Cricket Archive, Thomas Hughes.